Okay, so I took the measurements from this wall that Mike did and it was 221s and 225s. So I went in the shop, found some extra pieces just laying around and they were the perfect size. So I only had to cut down just a little bit off of each one. And now I have my 221s and my 225s. It looks like he screwed them into this frame right here. So I'm just gonna copy paste and start screwing them into this frame here. Yeah. And these are the screws that I'm using. Let me get this ready. Well, that right there. Um, I don't know which side I should make the base. I did have pocket hole screws in here from another project. Ow. And I don't know which would be better. I think I feel better with the sturdier side being at the bottom at the base. So let's do that. Flush, darling. That's right. Perfect. Love it. Okay. So we'll get my second piece here. So I wanted to see what direction I should lay it. Either, you know, this way or this way. And right there. Good. So instead of laying it um, vertically, I'm gonna lay it horizontally. It gives me the exact same measurement as the other wall, which is good because I want backsplash above it. So we need to have it stop at a certain spot so it can go up a little bit further. We'll figure it out together. That's, that's what this channel is for. DIYing at its best. Figuring it out together and making the bus into a tiny home. I like to kind of go straight first, just to make my little insert. And then once I kind of get to that first, gosh darn it, what's it called? Don't tell me, don't tell me. I got it, I got it. The first thread, T, I got it. Um, when I get to that first thread, then I'll start going in at an angle, which I've already gotten to. Let me just straighten out again. when things get real. So he'll kind of get it through first, like so. And then once it's kind of looking like that, that's when he'll get it ready to screw in. So about right there. Great, so just to recap, we have our 21 inch on the bottom. I screwed it in two screws into the wheel well itself. Then we have our 25s here. I screwed angled screws down <laughs> into our 21 incher here. Then I have a screw going into the framing of the window here, and then another screw going into this framing here and then another angled screw going in up here. So all in all, super secure, <laughs> I look crazy. So now we can finish up with this top piece, which is lit. And then I will feel very accomplished. Cool, I built a wall, y'all. Very proud. Also, I built this box that I'm standing on as well, and I'm pretty darn proud that I can just put all my weight on it lit. And then I do have a slight gap going from the framing to the actual wall that I'm building at the moment. Gosh darn it, this thing. And therefore, I don't want to line it up to the frame. I just want to get it to the wall frame, if that makes any sense. I'm not pushing up against this. I'm pushing up against this. Do another angled one on this side. Sweet. So we have a wall. Taking some thumbnail photos. 
but now what I'm going to do is get the plywood to go on the other side. I could probably do it on both sides actually. I don't think there's anything that's going to go in this wall. And if there is, I can just unscrew it. So let's do that. First of all, I absolutely love having the two walls back here. It's super cute. Oh my gosh, Brownie, you scared the mess out of me. Hi, baby kids. You wanna come inside? Hey, hi, Sugar Plum. It's the Brownie Kins. Say hi, Brownie. You like the walls? Where's your father? <laughs> Anyways, uh, my favorite type of measuring is to just outline it. So I got this big piece of scrap. Then I'm gonna grab a pencil and just outline where the wall stops and then I'll have my cutout. All right, so I will kind of actually, we might have to trim this down first so I can get a straighter edge to actually push up against the wall.